Hey, what's up, everybody? Got a lot to talk about today. First of all, um, did you get your copy of MMT Trader? I sent that out last night. If you did not, you can go right to the website, pitbulleconomics.com. Click on the tab that says products, and you'll see a link there that says current and back issues. Make sure you are logged in with your username and password. Yesterday, I said sell into the stock rally. We are seeing a pullback today. I might, you know, go another couple of days, but we saw this morning a very big earnings miss by Goldman Sachs. Very big earnings miss. Uh, came in at $5.15 per share. The consensus, I believe, was five thirty-eight per share. I, I saw whisper numbers as high as five forty-nine per share. So that was a big miss. Um, that website Zero Hedge had had a funny uh, post up there talking about how you know they blamed their biggest uh, trade recommendation was long the dollar, and their head currency guy he apparently quit. Uh, Goldman was recommending long the dollar. Why? Because of all the other zombies. This is Goldman we're talking about. Okay, if there was if there was ever a firm that epitomized um, the master of the universe concept about Wall Street masters of the universe, it's Goldman, right? Long the dollar. Why? The Fed is going to raise interest rates. And these guys, they still don't get it. They've, they've actually pulled that trade from their recommendation, saying that the reason they pulled it is basically because, well, the growth in other regions is picking up. So it makes the growth uh, in the U.S. Uh, a little bit less. They still don't get it. They still don't get it. So Goldman is a zombie, just like everybody else out there uh, who is a zombie. Now, the MMT Trader Report, I said, was groundbreaking in its uh, educational, informational aspect. I mean, there are things that we know that nobody else knows, okay? And those of you who have read it know what I am talking about. We have insights and understandings that nobody else knows knows it's i mean the, the whole we are so far ahead of everyone else i mean so far ahead that it, it, you know it's it's not even funny and really our own our only um travail our only work is really just kind of containing or being patient because we are so far ahead of everybody else so that means waiting a little bit longer i guess until all the zombies or the the cockroaches or the fashionistas get in, or if we are in early, which that tends to be, you know, my thing, because I see this so far ahead of everybody else, just having the patience to hold it. Now, on that note, I just sent out a recommendation to take profit in our short Euro pound Forex position. We've been short in that position. Um, you know, we held that Today, the British pound is screaming higher. By the way, we are long an MMT trader, long the British pound as well. So we're making money on that, but we just took another profit. And by the way, that is another profit. We have never, there has never been a loss in any closed out MMT trader trade recommendations. That goes for Forex, that goes for stocks, that goes for ETFs, that goes for everything. Okay, it goes for futures. So we took a profit today on our short euro pound position. Uh, British pound, by the way, at a four month high, uh, might soon eclipse that, go up to a six month high. Prime Minister Theresa May uh, is calling for early elections to drum up support for Brexit. And I told you, I mean, this goes all the way back to the Brexit vote and even before uh, that Brexit will not be damaging or harmful or the doomsday scenario that it was made out to be by so many people. Now, the selling of the pound since um, Bre the Brexit vote, and of course, we also had that ridiculous flash crash, which I said the bottom of that flash crash that night, what was it last October 8th or something like that, that will never be seen again. We had some of the biggest, you know, Forex analysts, 
I even know a friend of mine who's like a top guy at a major Wall Street bank saying we will almost certainly revisit the bottom. I said it at the time. You will not see. Stupidity is not rewarded. Whoever did that, that's not going to get rewarded. Uh, British Pound slowly recovering all of its losses since Brexit. And I do predict because the way Britain is operating, uh, both with its monetary policy and with its fiscal policy, you know, qu semi quasi austerity, uh, low interest rates, that is bullish for the currency. Okay, that is bullish for the currency. It will creep back up over time. Where was it before we went down? Like 146 or something like that. The dollar was like 146 to the pound. Getting back there. We're at 127, maybe 128 soon. So all this was right. Everything I said was right. As always, we have insights that nobody else has. We are so far ahead of everybody else that it's not even funny. And I, that includes Goldman. That includes the Fed. The FOMC people, the people on the FOMC, Yellen and all those others. All right, we saw Lacker. He quit because he was funneling insight. He re resigned in disgrace because he was given inside information to traders. That's what these guys do. The whole mainstream of economics is clueless and it is corrupt. This is the only place that you get the truth, that you get the insight that nobody else has. It should be illegal, but it's not. We have it, all right? We have it. Nobody else has it. Plus, of course, we combine the mental game. We never take a loss. So those of you, you're still out there. You have to take a loss. Losing is how you win. You got to put in stop losses. You keep doing that. My pockets keep getting fatter and fatter. What can I tell you? Closed out another profitable trade today. Cha-ching, euro pound, plus the British pound screaming higher. Plus, I said selling to the rally. I mean, folks, what more do you want? What more do you want? I'll see you later. Bye-bye.